Corduroy is the story of a bear in a department store, and this little girl named Lisa wants to buy him, um, but he's missing a button from his overall, so Lisa's mother says, no, 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 that bear is not good enough, that bear's broken, you don't want him. So Corduroy then hears that and says, oh, I didn't know there was anything wrong with me, so searches the department store at night and tries to find this button to make himself better so that Lisa can take him home, but at the end we find that Lisa wanted him all along. I think Corduroy is a story about hope and friendship and learning to accept yourself as you are. Sharing this experience of live theater and magic, something that I experienced as a kid, is really a privilege. And especially this story of like friendship and self-acceptance, it's really cool, it's really exciting. It's fun to bring that sense of magic to kids who haven't necessarily seen theater before. To know that we get to be that for so, for thousands of children, the first time they get to come to the Denver Center and see world-class theater telling a story that's geared for them is so special. I think it gets them when they're really ripe for imagining. Being able to bring them into a new world and really just let their imagination, imaginations run wild is, again, such a gift. There. All done. Good as new. Lisa! Coming! So this project is very special to my heart to really build as many opportunities we can for students to see live theater and how important that is to curriculum and making sure that arts is in education. And this production is one of the ways that we can really advocate for that and really invite and welcome students and teachers to partner with us. I think that uh, theater in the education realm um, it's really important to make sure that people understand that arts and theater are accessible for everyone. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to do with money all the time. Like every student, uh, every child, every human should have an opportunity to access um, live theater like this because it's really special. All of our programs are designed about how we are promoting arts and education and how we're partnering with teachers. And that's the heart of all of our work in the education department is that partnership with teachers and partnership with schools. So even though the text is really simple, those human things are still there. Love, wanting your mother's approval, wanting a friend, wanting to protect something you care deeply about. It's a kind of a great return to the simple task of acting. This book is one that I grew up with as a kid, so um, being able to share this with uh, kids nowadays, um, especially in a place where I grew up um, watching theater, um, is really a 360 kind of thing, right? Theater is such an amazing tool to promote literacy and really unpack stories and bring them to life that hopefully students will really lean in and go, oh my gosh, this is the magic of reading.